Hey everybody, Death Grip here. I got an interesting video for you today with this hero concept, but before we hop into that, I kind of want to just give some background. So, the other night, I was playing some Fortnite, just doing some missions with my friends, and uh, we were watching that A1 Get This Money video about the new event pistol and uh, the Basilisk, and I saw in the video the funny part where his friend got that smasher somehow to not hit him at all. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. It's it's pretty funny. But uh, it gave me the idea, because I remember from a lot of different games, they have some kind of concept to where you can get an enemy to become an ally, whether they call that like turn or, or something like that, um, where they can basically control that enemy for a certain period of time and have it go be an ally. And uh, that kind of gave me the idea for this video. And I wanted to take a look and explore as to what that would look like in Save the World. So another part of that was I was thinking about what hero that would kind of fit and it that kind of play style doesn't really fit any of the main hero subclasses, I mean the classes that we have right now. And so uh, I was talking about it with my friend Nilek and he had suggested that you know it'd be cool to see something like that on a new hero class, uh, that being the mage. And I know there's been a concept video about mage before out there and yeah, so this was something that would kind of fit that build a little bit better, and so that's why I chose the mage as something that would go well with this concept. And uh, another part of this, there is a melee aspect to this hero, and I've been playing a lot of Harvester recently and really enjoying Harvester, but the problem I have a lot with other melee characters is that you have to get super close to the enemies in order to be effective, and I just, a lot of times with the modifiers and stuff like that, I don't like being that close because you take a lot of damage and uh, you can't deal out good damage at that close range, and that's why I like the Harvester better, because they've got longer reach with their scythes, but that also kind of gave me an inspiration for part of this idea as well. So, all right, now we're going to go ahead and take a look at the hero here. We've got Elmira, the mythic mindbender subclass of the mage, which would be the new hero subclass. So the first perk you'll see here that I've got is Staff Critical Chance. Increases critical rating by 18 with staffs. So, you might be wondering, staffs, we don't have those in the game, but I'll get to that in a minute. So, then we have at level 2, the first ability that you get is called turn. And so, it would cost 50 energy, the cooldown is 2 minutes basically, and it allows your mage to turn a low tier enemy into an ally for 45 seconds, causing it to attack enemy husks. So, this would work on the husklings, the basic husks, the pitchers, and the lobbers, and it would work on... Uh, husks of any element it wouldn't really matter but basically it'd be allow you to take control of them and turn them into an ally and i think that would be a, a pretty cool concept and so that's the main part of this hero concept is being able to basically mind control your your enemies and turn them into an ally for a short period of time then number five we have novice mage staff weapon damage increased by 24 percent so basically that's just going to give you a base increase and allow you to do more damage with your staffs and just have some extra damage covered there so you can get more um, output compared to just using abilities as damage. Then at number eight we have an interesting perk here, Health Caster. This will allow you to heal your allies as well as yourself whenever you hit them with your heavy attack and it'll do a 20% increase to your health based off of your overall health. The heavy attack idea that I had for for that would be like basically sending out a wave that's about a half tile, maybe a tile wide, kind of something like horizontal like the Noble Launcher, but definitely not as big. But that would be the heavy attack, and so you'd be able to hit your allies with that a lot easier than just a you know normal projectile. So that would that's the idea behind that but i wanted to incorporate some kind of healing aspect because we don't really have that with many heroes in the game right now i mean the only hero that i can really think of or two heroes that i can think of that have healing perks as far as healing your allies would be the harvester ninja with its uh, smoke bomb and the alchemist with its smoke bomb because they can heal allies and yourself with your smoke bomb so I would like to see a little bit more of that in the game. That would be pretty cool. Then we'll take a look at the next perk. At, at level 10, you'll get Lightning Strike, and this is your second ability. And I kind of base this around the premise of Shockwave like the soldier has, but it works a little bit differently. And so 
it costs 30 energy and the cooldown is 25 seconds and it allows you to call down lightning on a single target dealing 16,989 energy damage and chains to 50% of that damage uh, to enemies within a one tile radius. So I took the value of the shockwave damage and multiplied it by 1.5. And the reason behind that is because it is only hitting a single target and you are doing less overall damage compared to like a soldier with a good assault rifle build, especially at range and stuff like that. It's going to be, you're going to be able to do more damage output with a soldier than you would with most other classes. And so being able to deal that extra damage and then having it chain 50% of that damage within a one tile radius, it seems really balanced to me because it allows you to get more damage output through your abilities compared to just weapons. So I think that would make this class a little bit stronger than, um, cause I, I talked to my friends about this and they were saying that maybe you should go 50 or 25% instead of 50% on that chaining damage, but it just seemed like that would hinder it a little bit on its damage output. So I, I feel like 50 would be a good place, but. Then uh, then when you hit level 12, you have Ionic Enhancer. And this increases the capability of Lightning Strike, which allows it to chain an additional 1.5 tiles. So this is going to further increase your AoE damage capability and group kill capability with your, your hero ability. So it's, it's a really cool perk that kind of just adds on to that a little bit. But then at level 15, we have Hypnotist. This allows Mage to turn middle tier husks into allies, and this would work on Gunslingers, Husky Husk, and Riot Huskies, as well as um, Sploders. Then we have at level 18, Elemental Vortex, and this is kind of like their grenade ability, and it allows them to throw a grenade that deals the same elemental damage as the element of the weapon first slotted. So basically, if you have a fire weapon in your first slot on of your three slots your grenade is going to put out fire damage and same thing goes with any other element that you have but the idea there is that you can kind of control which element you use and i think that's a really cool concept because most other abilities are just doing either physical or energy damage we don't really have any abilities that deal elemental damage so i think that would be really cool it deals the same damage as a soldier grenade and has the same blast radius and um you can hold three a maximum of three just like a soldier would and so it takes 25 seconds for one grenade to regenerate but the kind of idea that i had for that would be throwing like instead of just like a typical looking grenade but it would be like a ball of of elemental damage that would be thrown out and it would look look really cool so that's the idea for the grenade but at level 20 you get Elemental Overload. Enemies killed by the Elemental Vortex drop a delayed charge at the place of their death that explodes after 2 seconds, dealing 15% of the original Vortex grenade damage in a 0.25 tile radius. So the idea behind this is you chuck it into a group of lower tier enemies and it blows up and then they drop even smaller explosions at delayed time that don't do quite as much damage and so then the next wave of Huss walks over it and then gets damaged by it too. So I think it would be a, a cool way to spread out some damage and get you some more ability damage. Then at level 25, we have Adept Mage, and this applies unique effects to elemental stabs. So water applies one slow stack on Huss every second, and hitting five of those stacks over five seconds freezes the target in its spot for three seconds, something similar to like a floor freeze trap. Then if you have a fire elemental staff, it's going to allow you to blanket any surface with flames and the flames will remain there for three seconds just dealing uh, damage every half second and so that would just allow you to kind of put down a little area of aoe damage and it would be pretty pretty cool kind of something similar to how the quad launcher works whenever it, it shoots out its rocket but then if you have a nature staff, it will allow you to chain damage to nearby husks for 20% of the main damage dealt to the, the target you're actually hitting. At level 30, finally, you have Mindbender. This allows Mage to make a high tier enemy an ally. So this would mean it would work on Smashers, Blasters, and Takers. So 
at that point, you could choose any husk in the game as long as it's not an epic mini boss, and you could turn it into an ally and have it fight enemies for you for 45 seconds. So I think that would be a really cool idea just to see a smasher barreling through a group of husks and just taking them out. That's basically the concept for the mage itself. And then we'll move on over here to the staff. I've mentioned a lot in the perks and stuff about the staffs, and we don't currently have any in the game, but I also came up with the concept for a staff that would be in the game. So here is the spellcaster. It's basically a ranged melee weapon. So if you read the description down below, it says ranged melee, wield the elements at your fingertips and bend them to your will. Shoot a continuous beam that damages enemies within a one tile distance. So basically you're able to stay in that melee range, but you're not having to get as close and you can do your melee damage from one tile out. I think this would be kind of cool concept weapon to have. And then if you take a look at the perks that I have on there, on the spellcaster, we have hitting a target with heavy attack increases all incoming elemental damage by 10% for 15 seconds. I think this would be really cool in a normal mission, but also in like boss fights, whenever we get more boss fights, I think it would be a cool thing to have to where, you know, you have a good team composition and maybe you stick a mage in there and then you also have like a support specialist or somebody with war cry and then you have an urban assault but in order to do a crap ton of damage to the boss you can get the mage in there in that range with the spellcaster and you hit the boss and then he gets bonus damage from that then you pop war cry and you do bonus damage from that and then that headhunter is doing bonus damage because of their fire rate so i think that would be kind of cool in order to see that come together with all the other subclasses that we have in the game. Just kind of a cool idea for that right there. Yeah, I couldn't really find a good staff example, and I, I'm not the best artist. But yeah, I like the look of the staff from the pickaxe staff that they have in Battle Royale. And so I think that would be a really cool weapon model for a spellcaster. So one of the perks that you'll see that I put on there that's different than normal is range. This would allow you to extend your, your beam damage up to two tiles away instead of just one. The heavy attack, like I mentioned earlier, would be something kind of like the Noble Launcher, and I, I think that would be a really cool idea to where you could send that out and you could attack multiple husks with it, especially like with the Adept Mage, you'd be able to blanket a bigger area with the fire. You'd be able to blanket a bigger area with your heavy attack, and then you know you'd be able to obviously chain more to other enemies when you're using nature and then you'll also be able to apply more of those stacks to more targets whenever you're using the a, a water staff yeah those are my ideas for the subclass in general as well as the staff and so i took me a couple days to to get all this set up but yeah i thought this was a really cool idea and i figured that some of you guys might like that but let me know what you guys have to say down in the comments below if you have any other suggestions or ways that you could balance this better obviously i wouldn't know how this would work in game just because we don't know the values and how that would translate exactly just based on the uh the hero itself but i imagine that this would have health and mobility similar to something like an outlander you know just that average tier not super tanky but that healing capability with the staff would help make that a well-rounded character too that's basically my concept for the mind bender subclass for a mage hero and uh let me know what you guys have to say down below whether you liked it whether you're not whether you had any more suggestions whatever but i do hope this inspires more people to get their ideas out there because i know there's a lot of creative minds out there in the community and a lot of times they just don't have the availability to get their voice heard so if we get a cr culture created around creating new ideas and maybe some that epic will see maybe eventually we could see some more of those ideas actually implemented into the game and i think that would be a really cool idea yeah, that's basically it. So thanks for watching and have a good one.